What's up guys, Chase here at Rocky Mountain Nate VMC and welcome to our product spotlight for the GPX helmet from Liat. All right guys, so Liat, they got their start back in 2001 when Dr. Liat first started making the first motorcycle specific neck brace. Now ever since then, these guys have been making neck braces, knee braces, and body armor, and some of the best protective gear on the market today. Now you can tell with the GPX helmet, we've got the 5.5 and the 6.5 up here. They've put a lot of time and research into this helmet. So with it, you're gonna get a very lightweight, very comfortable helmet. It's gonna be DOT and ECE rated, and an insane amount of safety that is built into this helmet. Now we're gonna break it down we're going to dive into it from the inside out and show you everything you need to know so that you can buy with confidence. Now the first thing I did when we got this helmet is I took it out of the box and then I went down and I waited. Now we have two different versions up here. You have the 5.5, which is a composite matrix shell, and you have the 6.5, which is the carbon version. So when I weighed them, the composite came in right at exactly three pounds, and the carbon comes in right about 2.8 pounds. So it's a very lightweight helmet. Now, as far as fit goes with this helmet, we did notice we had multiple riders try it on. We measured them. We used Liat sizing guide before we put it on them. And really, it's gonna fit true to size. However, it does accommodate more of a round head shape. So if you have a longer ovalized head shape, a couple of our riders did notice a little bit of pressure in the forehead. So just keep that in mind. But overall, very comfortable helmet and it is very lightweight. Now when we look at the shell of the helmet, the first thing you're gonna notice is actually a smaller looking helmet and that was done by design. So Liat designed this helmet, on average it's about 15% smaller shell size than some of your other high-end helmets. Now the reason they've done that, couple key reasons. The first is the smaller the shell size that you can have, obviously the lighter you can make the helmet. And the second, the smaller the shell, the closer it's gonna to sit to the rider's head. Now Liat claims that having that smaller shell size is gonna reduce up to 20% of those rotational forces that are transferred to the head and the neck when you do have a crash. So that was done by design, a smaller lightweight shell, it's still gonna be DOT and ECE rated, so you're still getting the safety protection that you would expect out of a high-end helmet. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at ventilation. And I can tell you right now that Liat has designed this helmet to have an insane amount of ventilation. You're gonna have 11 vents throughout the entire helmet. You're gonna have plenty here along the chin bar, brow vents up here underneath the visor, and you're gonna have plenty of exhaust ports in the back to get the air out of the helmet. But what's unique about it, if you look at the side here up on the top and in the rear, you have these honeycomb panels. Now what these are, there's 190, 190 honeycomb inserts on this helmet. Now these are DOT rated for that spike test, so you're not, you don't have to worry about anything puncturing those, but what's unique about it is these are direct channels to the rider's head. The V-foam liner on the inside, which we'll talk about here in a second, has been cut out so nothing is blocking the air from getting to the rider's head on the inside. So it's gonna allow a massive amount of air to go in, as well as allow all that air or that heat on the inside to escape and come out of the helmet. So a ton of ventilation design has gone in. And what's nice, they designed to work at high speeds, obviously, but even at your lower speeds, it's still gonna ventilate and keep your head cool. Now going along with ventilation, we're gonna talk about hydration. Now you can tell that Liat has really done a lot of forward thinking and they have thought about every rider when they were building this helmet. So here on the chin bar, if you look, you're actually gonna have this channel built in the helmet that is meant to accommodate a SIP tube. So you can now take your hydration pack, take your SIP tube and route it directly through here. You no longer have to modify your helmet that we've seen so many riders in the past do. We've even seen some guys that would drill a hole in the center of their chin bar. So that's gonna accommodate any SIP tube. However, there are a couple of products from Liat that we like that go along extremely well with this helmet. And one of those is gonna be this hands-free hydration kit that they make. Now there's a couple of key things about it that we absolutely love. One, the bite valve on the end swivels. It comes to a 90 degree angle so you can adjust that to have it exactly where you want it so it truly is hands-free and you can drink out of it very easily while you're out riding. The other is this quick detachment here in the back. So it's actually gonna detach at the base of the helmet from your SIP tube so you don't have to take off your backpack when you wanna remove your helmet. So that's a couple of things that we love about this product. And if you rock a Liat neck brace, check out the SPX hydration pack. That is built to go directly to the neck brace that mounts onto it. So you're getting the best of both worlds with that setup. All right, so now we are gonna talk about safety with this helmet. Now, before we get to the inside, let's talk about this visor real quick. If you look at the side here, these bolts are shear away, so this visor is designed to break away in the event of a crash to help to reduce the amount of force to the head and the brain. Now, on the inside of this helmet, you have what they use is their V-shaped liner. Now, it's thinner and it's stiffer than your traditional EPS liner, and that is how they get that smaller shell size on the outside, which we've already talked about helps reduce the amount of rotational mass that you're gonna get to the right head. 
Now when we look at the inside of the helmet, this is what really makes this helmet stand apart and very unique. So Liat is using what they call their 360 degree turbine technology. So along the inside of the liner, they have these little blue turbines, that's what they call them, and they do a couple of key things. One, they absorb energy at impact, they claim it reduces up to 30% of the impact at concussion level, and it also reduces, they say, up to 40% of your angular acceleration. So you gotta remember, not all your crashes are straight up and down, they're gonna be front to back or side to side. Now because these turbines, they absorb impact, but they also flex in 360 degrees, it's going to absorb and slow down that impact. So that is very, very important. So a lot of safety and technology built into that. Now, a couple more things that we want to point out when it comes to safety with this helmet. On the inside, it is going to come prepared for your emergency helmet re or your injection helmet removal system. So on the inside here, if you're not familiar with that, what it is, it's a little inflatable bag that goes underneath between your liner and the shell of the helmet. So a first responder can actually pump that up and it will help remove the helmet without any further damage to the rider's head or neck. Now on top of that, you are going to have emergency cheek pad removal system. Now, these are different and I want to make sure you guys see the difference in these. Your traditional cheek pads, you have these tabs here. So when you pull on these, your traditional liners, what'll happen is you have to pull the entire snap out. And that actually does take quite a bit of force. If you've ever done it, you gotta pull pretty hard. So Liat has redesigned this to where if you pull on this tab, rather than having to pull out the entire cheek pad along with that snap, it actually just pulls out the padding on the inside. So it takes a lot less strength or force to pull that out and it makes it much easier so the first responder can get those out and remove the helmet from the rider without any further damage. That is a really cool design that we like. A lot of forward thinking from Liat with that. Now, the last thing we're gonna talk about on the inside of the helmet is gonna be your liner. So it's a very comfortable liner, it wicks away moisture well, and it's gonna be antimicrobial. Now, before we wrap this up, we're gonna talk about neck braces and how this helmet was designed to work along with those. So, Leah, obviously they're known for making awesome neck braces, that's what they started out doing, and now you have a helmet that is designed to work in conjunction with their neck brace. So if you look at the back here, you're gonna have this ridge along the back of the helmet, called their force diffuser. So they've designed it to have a very good platform and a very good contact point with the neck brace. So when you have that hyperflexion or hyperextension, it's gonna help disperse that energy extremely well. Now, like I said, it's designed to work with the Liat neck brace, but if you're using another type or another brand of neck brace, you shouldn't have any issues with that. It's designed to work with neck braces in general. All right, guys, so thanks for checking out our product spotlight for the Liat GPX 5.5 and the 6.5 helmet. Now, go to our website at RockyMountainA2VMC.com where you can see these helmets, read the full list of details, and see all the different colorways, and make sure you check out the sizing guide so you know what size helmet you are going to need. Now, for your moms and your dads out there, they make this helmet for youth. It's the same helmet, same technology, just smaller sizes for your youth riders. Now, remember, we have our fit guarantee, so if you get a helmet, if you're not happy with the size or the fit, send it back to us and we will make sure you get the right size on that first exchange free of charge and as always anything over $99 is going to ship free now the last thing I need you to do before I let you go is click and subscribe to our YouTube channel we would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this new helmet from Liat I'm Chase here at Rocky Mountain and we'll see you on the trails